in this video, I'll show you how to make your voice sound less tired and scratchy in a short amount of time using some really weird noises called semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. If we haven't met, my name is Nicole Gress. I'm a speech pathologist, gender voice teacher, and the founder of the Undead Voice Lab. I help people find more vocal freedom so they can choose the gender expression of their voice. You're watching day one of the 12 days of gender voice, where I'll be sharing a new video every day designed to help you explore the ease and expression of your speaking voice. Okay, so semi-occluded vocal tract exercises are essentially anything that you can do to narrow the front of your vocal tract to make it easier for your vocal folds to do their job. You'll recognize these sounds. These are sounds like lip trills, tongue trills, or any sort of buzzy consonants like m, z, z, or v. So I'm gonna walk you through how to use these sounds to essentially give yourself a vocal massage. Get rid of any gunk from allergies or sickness or even that sexy raspy morning voice <laughs> and get warmed up quickly to find a free and easy voice. To really feel the magic of any of these exercises, you always have to start off with a baseline, just singing or speaking cold. So you can do a line of text, a short cut of a song, or do just the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So pause me real quick and just try one of those three things and notice how your voice feels today. So pause me. Great, <laughs> you're back. How does your voice feel? Are you tired today? Are you kind of gunky? Are you feeling a little fatigued? What does your voice feel like? We're going to use that as the baseline from which we're going to compare some of these exercises. Now, I just want you to choose either a V or a Z. So V is in Victor or Z is in Zebra. And you're gonna hold that out at a comfortable pitch like this. Mm, or Z. Doesn't have to be too high, doesn't have to be too low. Something just in the most comfortable range of your voice. So do that once again. Mm, or Z. You're gonna pause again and do this for 20 to 30 seconds and really relax into it. Now go back into speaking, your initial line of text, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and notice if there's any improvement. Are you less gunky? Does it maybe get a little louder? Does it feel freer and easier? You'll likely need to spend more time playing with this. I'm demonstrating it in like two to five seconds. You may need closer to doing it a few times for even 30 seconds to feel the effects of the semi-occlusion of your vocal tract. But once you get comfortable doing these sounds in isolation on a single pitch like v or z, then you can start adding in glides like this. V or z. Once you've taken that voice for a spin, always go back to the baseline text to compare. Once you've taken your voice for a spin, always go back to the baseline text to compare. So there's actually several types of sounds that you can use for semi-occluded vocal tract exercises, and I'll put a list of them in the comments. It takes a while to figure out which sounds work best for you and your voice. If you'd like some more help or a guide to exploring these sounds, and you're okay with hearing from me for a quick second each day, you can download my free gift, Seven Sounds for Seven Days. What's gonna happen is every day for the next seven days, I'll email you a different semi-occluded vocal tract sound that you can use to start exploring the different corners and expressions of your voice. So what you can do is head to the link either in the bio or in the description and download your daily gift, which is seven sounds for seven days. Look out tomorrow for day two of the 12 days of gender voice.